in the backward pass, uh, we can we can do it like this, like the way that we did with uh, the sigmoid neuron training. We can use just only some parts. Uh, for example, in this case, we will focus just only the output layer. So in this part, we'll do just only in output training. So it will be the same one and we leave the hidden to be like uh, the, the next step. So we can separate it. Okay, use the hidden output from hidden to be the input of the output. Like I highlight it to be the green one. This is the output from hidden will be the input of the output. And then we can like do it very easy, right? Because uh, if we focus just only node number five, we already had the target and we have the output. So we can train it. So in the backward pass, we can do it easily uh, because we did it before, right? So we can uh, find the, the error. Okay, so we will find the error, the gradient of the error or partial differentiation of the error compared to the weight. And in this case, we just do just only the weight from the hidden edge, so weight, the blue of hidden edge to output node J because we use edge to denote the hidden layer and J denotes the output layer. So it will be uh, error compared to the blue edge J. So it's easy, right? So now we will do it this way. We have to uh, use the chain rule that uh, find the partial differentiation of E compared to signal of YJ. That is the final output, right? And partial differentiation of signal YJ compared to YJ because we have the differentiation of the sigmoid function, right? Compared to itself. And finally, we have to compare uh, find the partial differentiation of yj by whj. So this one is the, the for, uh, sorry, uh, to find the backward path. And now uh, we can find each part easier than uh, uh, finding all, everything together. So uh, differentiation of e, partial differentiation of e by signal yj. It's easy. Uh, it will be the so you already know, right? Uh, for the error, we can find the error using this term. The the error is so you can imagine that we use one by two, right? Half of target minus output. That is the signal of y j square so if you use signal of yj or the output square this is the error so after we can define the error now we can find a partial differentiation of error by the signal by using partial differentiation of half of target minus output square by the signal yj and of course, uh, you have to take uh, two downs and times to uh, half. So it will be one by two u square, right? This one u square. So diff of u square will be two and u target minus uh, signal yj or target minus output and differentiation of u that is uh, target minus output that is signal of yj by signal yj so uh, we will get it uh, easy right so uh, 2 by 2 uh, is 1 and that is uh, target minus signal yj and diff of target will be 0 right 
and then uh, signal yj by signal yj is minus 1, right? So uh, finally, we will get target minus output, that is signal yj. This is the backward pass of the first part. Then we can go to the next portion. That is, next part is signal yj by yj. This one, signal partial diff of signal yj by yj. That is the normal sigmoid differentiation of sigmoid by it, its inputs, right? Uh, I hope that you can still remember that uh, it will be uh, itself, the signal itself, uh, times 1 minus signal itself. This is the, uh, uh, the differentiation of the sigmoid function. It's very nice properties. So the second part is finished. We go to the next part. That is a uh, partial differentiation of yj compared to the uh, here by the blue edge j. So uh, for the y will be uh, the summation, right? The summation of uh, the blue the blue uh, from hidden to output the blue hj differentiation of this times uh, uh, signal of output from the hidden that is the input of this output layer right by the blue hj so this is uh so after you do after you can see this it's easy right so we can uh, move summation out of this differentiation so we will get uh, the so signals vh is the constant so we can leave it here but uh, if we this one is the summation of all of all but uh, if we focus on individual for each example we can remove the sigma so for each example we will we will be able to train it using these three parts so finally we will get a partial differentiation of error uh, compared to whj is the first one minus target minus output that is sig signal function of yj times signal yj this is the output times one minus signal yj and times uh, signal of output from hidden layer okay so the last one is the follow output from hidden node that is the input of the output layer so we will simplify this one by represent the first part to be the error that is the target minus output right so this one is the error in node j okay and we will use this part to be the delta of node j okay so this one is the delta of node j and the first part is the error of node j so uh, finally we can write it to be minus of delta of node j times just only the input from uh, hidden layer okay so uh, to the gradient of this error is will be represented using very simple term that is the delta of this node times the input of this node that is the output from the hidden layer.